G'day guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a little bit different again. This is a Drew's review. So uh, today we're going to be looking at the movie The Black Panther. So. Alright guys, so Black Panther. Great acting, great actors. The female cast was amazing. Uh, great action scenes. Great, great, um, what do you call it? Like shots, I guess, like the, the angles that they take. Good special effects. But full disclosure, as a Marvel fanboy, like I used to collect the comic books when I was young. It's one of my earliest memories is handing over a fistful of one and two cent coins to get a uh, Green Arrow. Uh, comic book, don't tell anybody. Um, it's one of my earliest memories. Then, pretty sure the next day I bought a goldfish and it died. But I've seen nearly every Marvel movie at the midnight release since, uh, other than Spider Man, because it's Spider Man, you know, why would you bother? Uh, although I did enjoy him in the latest Civil War. Anyway, moving on. Um, where was I? <laughs> All right, everything about this movie is great. The, especially the director with the the character development amazed me. Uh, how they put the backstory in there without even realizing. Everything about it was enjoyable. I really enjoyed the whole movie, except for the storyline, which makes no sense at all. Something about it irked me, even though the thing that irked me about it was what was resolved in the end. It just rubbed me the wrong way, and I, I couldn't get on board with it. Um, can't explain why unfortunately which is why it's taken so long to do this review but yeah that's the way it is so in Drew's reviews now I've decided I'll give myself five hammers because I'm a pretend blacksmith to um to, to rate things and uh, even despite not enjoying the overall storyline of this it still gets four hammers um, one of the best directed movies I've ever seen I'm going to track this guy down and watch some more. He's uh, hopefully he's done some more. I'm looking for a rookie in the Marvel movie. But anyway, I'll track him down and watch some more of his movies. Um, and hopefully his style is similar and I can enjoy them as much as I enjoyed this. Yeah, that's all I can really say about it really is I'd recommend to see it. I'd recommend to see it in cinemas. We've seen it at Limelight in Riverlink and Ipswich. And that is one of my favorite cinemas to see movies in now. The way they have the bass turned up, the whole room vibrates. With the you feel the sound in your chest, it's amazing. Um, highly recommend that cinema. Highly recommend this movie. And uh, that's about it. Okay, guys. So sorry, this isn't funny or great or anything really, other than me talking shit. Um, but I did promise that I'd make a video every day. I've already missed one day, so now I'm trying to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I will make up for that once the weather's weather's good today, but the wife does want to go up the mountains and look at um, waterfalls or some, something. But it is raining, so I'm not sure if she'll still be up for it. But yeah, that's it, guys. My video for the day. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you've got any... Um, I still want to do Drew's reviews because it's not always going to be about movies. It's gonna, I've, got some, I've got a mail time to do later this week, and I will be reviewing some of the stuff there. I'm dying to get this swage block into a uh, into a stand so I can use it. Um, at this point, my anvil's high enough, as, too high as it is. I, I want to plan on building up the the soil, the ground, I guess, around my anvil stand. Just kind of even that out. And I want to get half of my forge area cemented. So I've got like a clean work area and a dirty work area. It's all, yeah, I don't know if it'll happen. The cement's way too expensive for what I can afford right now. And... Uh, I've got that big ass table out there with with an inch thick steel top on it that I got at auction, and it's just 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 rusting out there in the yard, and I can't put it in the forge shop yet because it's on wheels. And at this point in time, with all the rain we've been having, it's about this deep in the dirt, and it's got to weigh well over 800 kilos. So I'm gonna to have to tow it with a car and try and pull it into the workshop. But I was hoping to get it cemented first. Anyway, I'm rambling. All right, guys, see the movie. Check out Limelight Cinemas in Ipswich. Um, highly recommend it. Highly recommend the movie. And, uh, yeah. 
Uh, guys, hope you enjoy. If you've seen the movie, please let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Cheers, guys. You're so dirty.